Good morning, folks. Yesterday in Shanghai, a small earthquake struck as a strong thunderstorm arrived. Have you folks been paying attention? Can you connect those dots? Here's a hint. It's not harp. Scientists follow up on their alien life in our solar system string of articles. This one comes back to Jupiter's moon, Europa. Most human beings have never seen Mercury. It never strays far from the horizon, but in the coming days and weeks, it will be visible immediately before sunrise. I'm not exactly sure how this article and the other publications about this counts as a secret satellite launch. Yesterday, seismic focus was the Caribbean. Today, the most active part of the Western world is the regional California swarm. Even though they're not very uh, large quakes, there's much more of them than usual. In South Carolina, the Catawba nuclear plant lost outside power and is currently being monitored by investigators. They say there is no danger right now. Philippines aren't the only ones dealing with red tides. Some parts of Florida are now detecting the microbes as well. We had two unusual isolated quake events yesterday, one on the Atlantic Ridge and the other in northern Africa. You might remember we have a small CME on the way and it is likely in the process of delivering a minor impact to Earth right now. The solar wind data shows no major spikes, but the yellow and orange here are far from calm and quiet. And up here on the red, you might remember that the BZ tipping south below that dotted line is indicating plasma penetration, a little bit of magnetic disturbance. You can see the horizontal disturbance here in our outermost magnetic shield layers on the Fluxgate magnetometer, and you can see the inner effects as temporal variations, some resonance at very low frequencies here on the induction magnetometer. It took a week, but the leading edge of the former megaspot has developed into something worth watching. It is currently connected to Earth, Venus, Mars, and potentially even Saturn back there. NOAA has labeled this area as beta, and as you can see, they do have both polarities here. But when they are intertwined like this, where you can't easily separate the polar regions, that makes it beta gamma. Now, while that does raise the chance for strong flares in the coming days, I wouldn't be too shocked if we see nothing above a C flare. If we do get a big one, it will be Earth-facing as this region turns into position here. You can see a very long magnetic filament wrapping back around to another large region set to turn the limb today. And lastly, folks, you remember the quake watch due to our planetary positions, the moon included, where you can add a potential impact of a coronal hole stream from this dark region here. Eyes wide open for all of it, folks. That's the news. Be safe.